File Coast Flicks. Hi, welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to hit a load of charity shops, see what we can find out there to resell for profit on eBay. Let's go. Let's head into the first charity shop of the day. A lot of these charity shops around here are quite expensive these days, but it's still worth a look because you can find good stuff anywhere. This mini golf set up here, this brand, I've had this brand before. Some of them can do quite well, but it was priced quite high. And this Dungeons and Dragons little kind of figure set, a bit like Warhammer, but five pounds. I did look that up and I looked up these little toy soldiers as well. Uh, they both had a little bit of money in them, but not when they're five pounds each. Check this out, Twister Lolly Jigsaw. I've never seen this before. Any money in this? I have no idea, but didn't want to be messing with that. I don't think it was new, although it was still kind of in its packaging. It looked like it had been opened to me, and I don't want to be counting all those jigsaw pieces. Nothing in the first one. Let's have a look in here. So we move on to the next charity shop, and I have found a few good things in here. This one really is quite highly priced these days, but I still managed to find the odd little piece here and there. A uh, Vilroy and Bock, these two bowls, there's two of them. One's £10, one's £12, I think. Did look these up as well, but it, there's not many of them out there, but at £10 and £12, so if you're buying both of them, that's £22. You're going to struggle to make much money. They're quite nice, but I've seen a lot nicer Vilroy and Bock out there. But I keep looking because the, the kind of variety of glassware and ceramics here are really good. And check these out. These are a brand called Candlelight. Well, the big one says Candlelight. The small one says CLP. Usually it just says CLP on them. But I think it's the same thing. So I grabbed them because they're not very expensive. I think one was 150 one was 250 or £2, something like that. And this mug from Switzerland was only £1.50. I did put it back and then I kind of had a quick look into it and thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. And I found this Vision Corning pan. This was only £2. It's only a little one. You know, these do much better if they're in like little sets. If you've got like the larger pans with the lids, they can do pretty well. Uh, just this like this. You're not going to get a huge amount of money, but for only £2, definitely going to give it a go. Should be able to get about... 12 to 15 pounds on it and just unscrewing the lids making sure there's no like chips or anything and that the lids are fitting on okay uh, these two pc big box games they've been in here for months and months 10 pounds the price has stayed the same i keep hoping that they're going to reduce them down but they've not done there's a good selection of records and dvds here but very rarely i find anything worth reselling and all the FIFAs you can imagine. So I got a few bits in the last shop. So we're off the mark. Let's keep going. So I thought this looked quite interesting. And also something I'm about to pick up in a second. Also thought that kind of looked interesting as well. But I checked them both out. Found sales comps on them both. But not going for a lot at all. Um, that's... Uh, yeah, like a little otter ornament. Some of these random ornaments like this can be worth fairly decent money. Cheshire Cat, proper Disney branded, got the stamp on it. Never seen this one out there before. Not proper Disney branded like that. I looked it up and they do sell, but they don't sell for a lot. Kind of £10 maximum, really. I thought I was onto a winner with these. Check these out. I thought these have got to be worth good money. I think they were about, were they about four pounds each or something? I thought that's you know that might be okay, but I looked them up. I know there's very little money in them. I checked every single one of these. They're all different countries, represent different countries. I checked every single one, and none of them were really worth much, up to like a tenner maximum from what I could see. This is a fairly new one. I've only been in here once since it opened. Yeah, not much going on in here. There's a lot of stuff, but just nothing I could find to resell. If there's anything you can see on the shelves I've missed, then do let me know. Always nice to kind of see new things that you can pick up to resell. 
that beat bow I used to sell them fairly often. My kids had that and absolutely loved it as well. Good selection of DVDs. And check this out. Dolls Like You and Me. Check it out. Anybody remember that? And they have a good selection of like glassware and ceramics as well. I sell quite a lot of glassware and ceramics, but there just wasn't anything that was standing out to me. They're all ready for Valentine's Day in here. Had a few decent PC games from here in the past, but not today. But I did find some vintage tea towels. Yes, I do love a vintage tea towel. They're not all worth crazy money, but there's certain ones to look out for. And if it involving like trains and stuff are pretty good. There is one here that had lifeboats on it, which I think would do quite well as well. 50p each. I picked out about six or seven of them. People like to buy these old vintage tea towels and then frame them. I think that's what some people are doing with them. These speakers look pretty cool. There was a stereo to go with it, but it was being pat tested at the time. But they were after a lot for the full set. So I did look into the speakers. You get about 20, 25 pounds just for the speakers. But they were after too much for it all. This is a good brand, but doesn't seem to resell that well, but I always like this stuff. I think it's uh, Korean, I believe. They always do some pretty cool looking stuff. So this place sells books, board games, and DVDs. And I have found some decent stuff in here, but it is very expensive as well. I feel like maybe the prices have come down a little bit in recent times a little bit here you got a load of like stephen king james herbert uh, dean coots all that, that kind of stuff sometimes there can be like big bundles of that there but there wasn't much on this occasion this living gray hawk i've had a couple of these before that have done really well in fact i sold one quite recently which had which was new sealed and that did all right they always have loads of video games, but they are priced very close to eBay prices, sometimes more than eBay. So, yeah, although I have found a few games in here that I have managed to resell for decent money, most of them are priced right up. And they got some good board games as well, but check this out. £15, this one. It's not new or anything, pre-owned. Was it Gromit or was it Shaun the Sheep? Fifteen pounds. It's a lot of money. I thought this looked pretty vintage, but this wasn't really worth much. Now this was good. I checked through all the books here. There's loads of manga stuff. There's often manga stuff here. Sometimes I'll get lucky. Sometimes I don't. On this occasion, I did okay. This book was only three pounds fifty. Sells comps. Not many of them. But kind of 25 to 35 thereabouts, but none in the UK. So it's kind of hard to say exactly what this is worth. But it's definitely worth more than £3.50. As I had a good look through, make sure I wasn't missing any others. Then I found these books and I thought I was onto a winner with these. They were really old. They were all about the different kings of England. But after looking into it for quite a while... They were just about, not, they were not worth it. They were only a pound each, so they might have been worth a go, but not many people had managed to sell them for much. So I decided to leave them. On to the next shop, and we got this fur real little dinosaur. They were after £8.90 on this, so it's a bit too much to be buying to resell. I picked a lot of different fur real stuff up before, but never like dinosaurs. Usually it's like chimps, chimpanzees. I think I had an orangutan once. Yeah, everything on this shelf was half priced. I did actually put this back and then I saw the sign. I was like, I may as well get it for 50p. It's a little vintage candle from the 90s. 
And there's been a little bit of interest in this, funnily enough. I didn't think there would be much, but there's been a little bit of interest. Somebody sent me an offer pretty much as soon as I put it up for sale. It'll go. Got only got up about twelve pounds thereabouts. And look at these mugs. These are really cool looking, but not really worth much. I've seen them on a previous trip, so I'd looked them up previously. Thought this looked kind of interesting. Looking underneath for a maker's mark, but it looks like a you know more modern kind of thing. It was missing a part. Just thought it was kind of a bit unique looking. Not something you see every day. And we've got a little stack of plates here. I picked some of these up from Boot Cell for really cheap and they sold pretty well. But these are all a little bit faded and they're after a pound a plate, which is, is too much. Not going to make any money at a pound a plate. Not in that condition anyway. And check out that Rayware cookie jar right there. This would have been an alright one, but unfortunately it was damaged and they're after, I think it was about £6 on it, which is too much when it's damaged. If it was perfect condition, I would have bought it for that price. Although I can't find many of this particular one out there, similar like dog rayware cookie jars can do quite well. Just making sure I've not missed anything. Check the size of that out, look at that, it's massive isn't it? Really big, but they're after 20 quid for it. They sell online for about that amount. I always have a quick look at this, these blue and white ceramics because some of them can be worth good money if there are certain brands. Check this out. I've had something very similar to this before. I had a Thomas and Friends set just like this and I've also got a... I think it's Mrs. Tiddywinkle set like this, but they're after £25 on this. There is a bit of money in it, but at £25, no money in it for me. And this is the last charity shop here in the town of Cleveleys. And straight away, I clocked this biscuit jar. Had this before, good few times. It's a good brand. It's not like the best brand ever, but it's a decent brand. Victorian Pottery Co. £3.50, which is about as much as you really want to be paying for this. But they can sell for like £20. I'll hold out for £20 on it plus postage. A few games in there. Nothing worth mentioning. These Pearson jars, or at least I think the Pearson jars, if they have the lids and they're in good condition, they can do all right. But they were priced right up. I think they were about £5 a jar, which is too much. And they were missing the lids. I always check in the windows of charity shops and in any boxes that might be outside because you can find some decent stuff in there sometimes and it's usually really cheap, like 20p, 50p, that kind of thing. Sometimes you can find some decent bits. Check out this iron and hairdryer combo there, proper vintage packaging there. Sometimes they have some decent stuff there on that shelf. Uh, these Iron Fist shoes had seen better days. They might have been worth picking up if they were in much better condition. These were about as bad as I think I've ever seen on a pair of heels. Iron Fist heels can do well though. I've sold quite a few of them now. They always have a decent variety of ceramics in here. But again, the prices are pretty high at the moment. But you can still, you know, find the odd little piece here and there. Uh, these are quite nice. M&S, like condiment jars, I think is what they were. Two of them, but £3 each. At £3 each, it's just a little bit, just a little bit too much. If they're a couple of quid each, maybe, maybe. But usually, like at boots, car boot sales, you can pick this kind of thing up for like 50p each, maybe a pound each. At £3 each, your margins are tiny at that point so not worth it in my opinion as nice as they were and check this out this is a Hornsey jug with no handle which 
in this particular design like this, I've never seen this before, which is why I picked it up. And Claire really, really liked these, kind of like Turkish style, like little espresso set. I wasn't too keen, to be honest, but she really liked them, and they are actually worth a little bit of money. The brand is Arco Pal, or possibly Arco Rock. Both brands are pretty good. Check this out, it's another one of those jars, same as the biscuit jar, except it's got green detailing rather than blue, and it's a flower jar, not a biscuit jar, but it's exactly the same shape, design, brand, and very similar price as well. Very unusual to find two of these back to back like this, but yeah, pick this one up, maybe not quite as desirable as the biscuit jar, but still pretty good. I was at the till paying for the cookie jar, and they had a tombola, so I had to go pound. And I got these little badges, how cool are they? Little fallout badges, no idea if there's any money in them from 2018. Yeah, I'll, be hap I'll happily keep them unless there's a bit of money in them and I'll sell them if there is. Here we have an Angry Birds mug. This is from Fort Park originally. Only paid 50p for this. Some of this Fort Park and like Alton Towers merch can be worth more than this. This is only worth about £10, this one. This is pretty good. Nintendo DS, Cars 2, little storage case. Uh, it's not brand new. It has been out and used, but it was only £2. Still has its box. There's a little bit of money in this. And then this jar here, it's the same brand as the one I showed earlier, the tea bag and sugar jars that were in the red and white. So this was in the bin, and I asked if I could take it because these the spares for these always come in handy. And if there are full sets of like the cars or the pegs or anything else, you could always sell them uh, separately. I know from having this game myself as a kid, uh, this part always breaks, like the piece on here always breaks. And yeah, I don't know, I'll uh, split it up. Probably won't sell it as one full game because I don't put as much money in it. I'll probably part this one out, got it for free, so why not? Try it like that, see if we can make a little bit of money from something that was just going to end up in the bin anyway.